<laughs> don't rip your pants. I don't want to rip them, yeah, exactly. Please don't rip your pants. That'd be really fun to Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dan. Okay. I found a slip. <laughs> oh, yes, Dan. Ashley, your turn. I don't know. I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I, I think you could. Take a picture of me looking like this. <laughs> Just wave. <laughs> Gigi's doing the mannequin challenge. I love Les. <laughs> Les is so nice. Les look at it, so look at the sign. Look at the font the sign. It's pretty fun. Selfie master. Wave hi. <laughs> Video. Yeah, I'm act, I'm, I I make. Huh? Are you gonna do like a broad video? Yes, I actually I've been doing like um, vlogs. Gotta get it for the vlog. Up to fifty percent off everything. <laughs> literally one of the first nice days we've had in a while it is sunny and it's not windy and it's warm um, I feel like most people when they think of the UK they think of rain but really you need to think of wind maybe it's just Edinburgh but it has been so windy recently um, it is Wednesday which means I have my two really early classes that I don't have class for the rest of the day so every Wednesday I try to explore a new place in Edinburgh so we'll see where it takes me today. We are currently at Grey Fair Cemetery. This is apparently the cemetery that inspired J.K. Rowling um, while she was writing her books at the Elephant House. She would stare off into the distance and see this graveyard. And it's apparently where she got the name Tom Riddle for Voldemort because his grave is actually here. She was just sitting at Elephant House, minding her own business, and then she would gaze off into the distance and see this graveyard and she would come here to take a stroll and visit and she apparently saw a grave with his name on it. Now I'm on the hunt to find his grave. For anyone who's a Harry Potter fan, you know how exciting this is. And if you're not, well, shame on you. Some of the other characters' names were inspired by people's graves here too. Inside the Balmoral Hotel here in Edinburgh, which is right in the church grounds. Of course, they wanted to bury him right next to John, but they did the next best thing and they buried him here in this little garden as close to his master as possible. He's become a movie star. There's a Disney movie based on the story. You'll see a little statue of him opposite the graveyard and his very own pub next door as well. 
Of course, people like to leave sticks for Bobby. They also like to leave little dog chew toys, cans of dog food, and poo bags, and all sorts of weird, wonderful things. And you can see his headstone reads that his loyalty and devotion be a lesson to us. This was the inspiration for Diagon Alley. So yeah, you stand alongside all that. This is the hotel that J.K. Rowling stayed in when she was writing the last two Harry Potter books, I believe. It's called the Belmore, Belmore Hotel, and you can actually stay in her room that she stayed in, but it costs a lot of money, obviously. There you can see Colton Hill. I believe that's Arthur's seat over there, too. No joke, guys. I laid my bed at 3 a.m. last night craving bubble tea because I haven't had it in a really long time. Um, so my first class just ended and my only class. So I found or I researched this bubble tea place last night and I'm super excited to try it out. They have like a bunch of different flavors you can customize or you can get one of their set ones. So we will see how good it is. I really hope it is good because I just, I literally was lying in bed craving it and then I dreamed about it. So, and I'm assuming that this next vlog is going to be kind of like a um, month of February vlog because I have just a bunch of random clips from places I've gone this past month. Apologies if I always seem super concerned vlogging. It's just I'm like looking around to see if there's anyone staring at me because I still feel really weird about this. There's nobody on the street right now really or on my side of the street that's coming towards me so I feel a little bit better about it. Um, okay, where is this place? Finally found it. So I feel like I haven't really given an update on my life here at Edinburgh in a while, so I kind of wanted to do that. Um, I've been here for a little under two months now, which is so bizarre because it I still remember like the first day getting here and like not knowing where I was going or like where my dorm was, but I'm somebody who gets kind of used to things fairly quickly so I would say that I'm pretty adjusted to life here and kind of adjusted to the differences between um, going to school here versus the US um, so that's kind of where I'm at with that I had a very productive um, day today I actually went on a run I just got back from a trip to London and Dublin last week we had our flexible learning week which basically we don't have classes or lectures and the school kind of organizes fun educational learning events but most people will just use it as an opportunity to travel and stuff like that so that's what I did and I feel very revitalized from that trip it kind of got me excited and motivated again just because being here I kind of have gotten a little bit bored just on campus when you have so much free time and little time spent in class and little homework. I ran along the meadows which is this nice little garden or um, park here at Edinburgh. It was super nice, very windy but what can you expect? So during the trip, we woke up really early every single day. I get this from my dad when I travel. I want to get as much done as in little time possible. So we would literally wake up at like, me and my friend would wake up at like 6 a.m. sometimes for a tour, 7, 8, 9. So I think my body's kind of just used to waking that up that early now. So um, I've been waking up pretty early the past few days and I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and kind of review some lecture notes, post pictures from my trip as well as do some like internship stuff so gonna be really productive today.
What's up guys? So it is currently March. It's March 11th and I'm about to go have lunch at this Thai place that I've been to that I really, really like. Um, I have been craving it and I've kind of gone over my expenses this week, but I thought I would treat myself. I had an interview yesterday that I think went really well, so this is going to be a reward to myself. Today I'm hoping to book a ticket to Paris. Um, I've actually been to Paris like six years ago, but I still remember it very clearly. Um, but I do kind of want to go again because I have a friend study abroad there and is it really study abroad if you didn't go to Paris? But I found a ticket for like 81 pounds a couple of days ago and now it's like 98 or 100, which is like kind of upsetting. And I think something that study abroad has really taught me is to just do it, like follow your gut. I'm somebody who literally like plans and plans and plans. Like I'll see a ticket and I'm like, ooh, like, I don't want to buy it like blah, blah blah so then i'll just like wait and then it just in this case went up so i'm gonna try to probably just buy it today this is normally where i study it's the student union and it legit looks like a castle my vlog guys you're, you're really vlog. close to my face right now or the camera this is, yeah. you're way too close to me every this week. is sam hi and this is laura hi you're visiting yeah we are how do you like edinburgh it's, it's really pretty nice. chill <laughs> Tea chill do you like nature i love nature <laughs> we're climbing or we're at the top of arthur's seat right now Woohoo! <laughs> 